Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here, bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over PDQ part two. So if you didn't watch the last video, I ran PDQ. PDQ is a deployment software. It allows you to install applications on the back end for a user. Um, and basically you're, you're able to um, deploy your applications and you're also able to do inventory scans and stuff like that. And it tells you about the computer hardware and stuff like that, which I didn't go, I didn't talk about that at all yesterday, but I'm talking about that today. So obviously if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, the stuff support videos, talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you know when I go live, all right? Greatly appreciate it. So today I wanna go over PDQ inventory um, and what you could do in there and why it's important. What's the point of it? So I'm gonna show you how to deploy an application to a desktop. I'm gonna show you how to look at inventory of a desktop. And I'm gonna to explain to you why that's super duper important if you're working in an IT environment or a job environment, okay? So let me share my screen with you and show you what we're gonna do today, okay? Give me a second, so screen one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I just deploy Zoom on, on a desktop. I'm gonna remove it. Let's see if it lets me remove it. So I, re I actually install Zoom on this computer. It should ask for admin credentials, which is totally fine with me. Uh, let's see, so it's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of that because I wanna start from the beginning. I'm gonna start fresh. So next thing I'm gonna do is, so remember we, we created the share, the share desktop um, for, for guest OS up in installation. I don't know if you guys remember. So basically yesterday we installed, um, install guest additions CD image. So this allows you to share the files amongst other people if it was not on the VM, if that makes sense. So I created a folder right over here. It's called KevTech Labs. I went into uh, my web browser. I'm sure you right now. And I'll leave, I leave it below in the description. I type PDQ. So if you ever want to search like an old, uh, old download, you could do it in here. If you ever want to search an old website that you went to previously, which is what we did yesterday. Like if you want to go to a specific website of something that you're looking for, you go in here and you type PDQ. And then you go into PDQ website, right? And I need you, I need you to download, I need you to download PDQ inventory. This is the one I need you to download. I need you to download that. So when you have a chance, download that, because this is what we're going to do today. So we're going to go into downloads, PDQ inventory, and then you download this application, which is, I did it already, so don't worry about it. So it's right here. So now I want to deploy this on the, on, on the server side, right? Right, because, you know, we're doing inventory. So what we do is we're going to go into your local C drive, this PC, Keptech Lab. So just make sure that this is actually this folder or this tab is actually enabled on your on your VM. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So then I, I moved the folder over already inside Keptech Labs. So if you go into Keptech Labs, the, the application's right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, and this is going to be on the desktop now. So now we're going to add that to the desktop. Um, we're going to go into PDQ inventory, we're gonna hit install and it should let you install this. We're gonna hit next, we're gonna hit next, we're gonna hit next, we're gonna hit install. So when you install it, you can just delete this. Uh, actually, it's not gonna let me do it unless I get rid of this first, yeah. So when you install it, um, it should open. If it asks for a password, it's gonna be your domain password. So if you have an admin account or whatever account you created, the domain controller asks, that's the password you're going to use for this because it's going to ask you for a password, by the way, which is not doing that for me because I already installed this. So you would you would just put your whatever your password is. So what's the point of this? Why why why, why do we care about this? You're about to see right now. So if you're if you're an IT guy, and if you work with SSEM or if you work with Avanti, this is really really important. Why is this important? It's because not only does it let you remote into someone's computer. It also shows you what applications they have installed. It also shows you what Windows updates they have installed. It also shows you what, what Windows updates you may need to install for that computer. So what if you get a call about a user or a client that, oh, I don't have Adobe on my computer. And then you're like, wait a minute, I installed it already for you. Why, what, what are you talking about? So this is why it's really important. So if you right click on desktop and you click on run report, and you have this op these options right here. You have all these options right here. You run share folders. It tells you all the folders that are mapped on it. And you could actually double click on it and it tells you more in depth. 
So now you have this this inventory application. So this is why this is why I, I had you download inventory PDQ because it tells you about the computer itself. So you click on computer, it tells you when's the last time they logged in. Tells you who's currently logged in right now, which Hattie's logged in right now. It tells you what the IP address is. It tells you what the MAC address is. It tells you what the time zone is. It tells you what computer, what computers they're part of. It tells you what domain they're part of. It tells you how much memory they have. It tells you their serial number. It tells you the local C drive. It tells you if they're 64 bit or 32 bit. That's very important. Um, this is just some of it. You know, there's a lot of things here. It's just I suggest you go here and play around with it. Me. All I care about is applications. So like it's the, the user's like, oh, I have Adobe, you know, I have Adobe, I have Adobe. And I'm like, you don't have Adobe. I haven't installed it for you yet. So I only see Microsoft OneDrive. So how do you confirm that even further? You go into control panel, you go into uninstall programs and you go into Microsoft and you, you see the Microsoft OneDrive is right there. So uh, you have your collections, you have your CPU. So it's like how many CPU processes are being used for that computer? This is locked, obviously, because I don't have an enterprise account. This drive is your CD drive. So this is 50 GB on this computer, um, which is right, 49.4. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, display, what kind of monitor I'm using. Environment tells you the path directories of the temp folders. Uh, fire do file directories uh, tells you a little more about the hardware. If you want to go more in depth with the hardware. So you have a hot fixes. Maybe there's an update that needs, that needs to be installed or maybe installed already. Local groups on this computer. So if you go to local users, it tells you the administrator account is on this computer. Memory modules, NIC. One NIC card is being used on this computer. If this is if you want to run PowerShell, obviously I don't have an enterprise uh, on this computer. You have printers, which printers are installed on the computer. So if you go here, you go into control panel, go into view devices and printers. It's right here. Processes, product keys. So if you want to, you want product keys from a, a specific application like Adobe Creative Cloud, um, Visio, I guess Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Um, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe an application that the company uses that they, they need to obtain a license for it and they want to know what the license key is, you could get it right over here. Uh, you have your registry, you have your scans, you have your services, you have your share, which is like the share drives of remote admin. So if you ever want to add a specific file to this computer, you can. You just double click on this and it will take you to that desktop, desktop.captech.admin and slash admin dollar sign. If you go in here, local C, you don't see it here. But you can actually mess around with this and add file. Admin admin dollar sign is actually in the system level applications. You could actually do C dollar sign, which is what I got over before my previous video. And you could actually right click on this, copy this, go into the user patty, go into desktop, and go in here and just paste that item for them, and it should show up right over here. So there's a lot of things you could do with this. I suggest you play around with this. Um, there's Windows features. These are these are things that are enabled on it. You have Windows Task and you have all these other stuff. So there's a lot of things you can do in this. You can even you can even run CMD commands from here on this actual computer if you want to. So you could you could open up the command line and you could do a bunch of commands here. So like I could I could just go here and and do uh, IP config and press enter. It may not let me do that. I'm probably running the command incorrectly, which is fine. Um, she has a date and time custom. Oh yeah. You got to put all the information out. That's fine. Um, you either have, you even have the option to restart that computer. You even have the option to manage with MMC. So if you click on this, you could actually manage this computer from MMC, uh, it's Microsoft management console. So uh, Microsoft manage management, sorry about that. Um, you go in here and then you go in users and you could. Basically, you can create a new account if you want on this computer because it's on the network. So you can do whatever you want on this, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know you could do that. And then there's other options here, like like uh, remote assistant is not enabled, so it's not going to work. Remote desktop does work, by the way. You can remote into this computer, which is crazy because I didn't even know you could do that. So you go here and let's see if it, if it lets you remote into that computer. See? Let's you remote into it. Look at that. <laughs> 
is crazy. Like that's not, you know, that's not normal. Like, like with PDQ, you like it's like so many things you could do with this application. I was shocked. I'm like, wow, yeah, I didn't know you could do that. This is crazy. So it's just creating the account right now. That's why I, I can't log. That's why it's taking forever to log in. If that makes sense. So I didn't even know you could look. It says here it's logged in as administrator. Look at that. It's right there. Which is crazy. So I, I didn't even know you could do that. Like, I'm like, wow, there's so many things you could do with this with this application. So yeah, download the inventory one and, and see what see why you could play around with it. I'm gonna exit out of it. It's just creating the account. It's probably not gonna let me log in. All right, there we go. That did let me log in. All right. It's like so many things you could do with this. Like, it, it's insane what you could do with this. I'm gonna close out of that. So you got tools in here. You could do wake on, you could wake it up, wake on land. If wake on land is enabled on the BIOS, you could wake it up. Um, you have your reboot option right over here. So let me see if it lets me restart the computer. I'm gonna try it, reboot, okay. Reboot sent, look at that, restarting. <laughs> like, it's just like, this is a powerful tool. Like I'm, I'm telling people like, you know, like, and then in a real life environment, SSEM and Avanti, yeah, you could, you could do that. It's not, this is not like, you cannot do that. You could do that. You could definitely do that. So select, select scan. You can edit their, you can edit someone's credentials from here. Like this is a very powerful tool. Look at this. So I'm gonna right click on this. Log back in, it's Patty. This is a very, very powerful tool. You scan collections, scan computers, view computer details, which is what I, what I just showed you. Um, so why would why would you care about this? It's like I tell you, you can run reports on this. Um, you may have like uh, I need I need a I need a report on desktop too. Kevin, can you can you give me a report on this? We do print preview. You know, obviously not from a server. Obviously, you would you would do it from from like a you know from from like a, a regular desktop, not not a server. If that makes sense. So you just you know you just right click here. Uh, let's do a run report on hmm, applications and then you do a print then you, you know you get you have a screenshot of all the applications to use maybe maybe it's not even that maybe they they, they the manager or, or whoever you're working with maybe they want to report on the hardware or the devices on this computer you don't know so then you hit print and it gives you all the all the stuff that's installed on that computer all the stuff that's you know hardware related so this is how you would do it and, and you know run report. This is how you would how would how you would deal with it. Like you could put it as a CB, CSV file if you want. Um, there are so many things you could do with this. Yeah, I was I was playing around with this. I'm like, huh, I didn't know you could do that. I'm like, this is pretty this is pretty cool. So you got remote. You got PowerShell, you can run PowerShell, you have workstations, you have servers. You could right click right over, you could delete it, you could delete from the inventory and re add it again, rescan again. Um, like I said, you could run a report, a basic report. And it tells you basic report on what what computer do you what what, what computer are you trying to run a report on? Both of them or just one? Just one. You know, so then you could you could just do that and then um Obviously, it's not gonna. Obviously, you have to you have to scan the computer and then the heartbeat. You have your preferences right over here. If you wanna, you wanna deploy, you wanna deploy something. Active Directory, database, mail server. If you wanna, if you wanna create a, a server, targeting enterprise with certain targeting applications and shortcuts. You know, it's like. There's so many things you could do on this. It's, it's, it's crazy, like what, what you could do with this. And then with, with uh, show you with this, like if you, if you right click on this, um, like I said, like it since it sees it on the, on, on PDQ, just like the other one, you have your tools here. You could open up PDQ deployment and it's going to open up PDQ deployment, connect to PDQ deployment, right? These are very powerful tools. So you will use this in SSEM 
you would you would do the same thing on something else. So it's, so it's already right away. It selected it. It selected what package you want to send to it, and it tells you like, if is that the right one? It looks like it's it is a little check mark. Yeah, it's connected. Okay. Um, can you could pick the time you want to deploy it? Is it do you want to deploy it right now? Yes. Um, choose a target. Hit okay. Deploy now, and then, you know it's gonna install right over here, and it should show up on the right hand side. So this is stuff that you you would do in real life in a real life job environment. It's right there, and Zoom's right there. That's it. Ju it just finished installing it, so it's right there. So all you care about. So for right for for this environment, you have reports here you can run. Because now now I install the. Now I install the inventory application. So the inventory application allows you to do way more than import. This is download, create package. You create a brand new package if you want. You know, so a lot of these companies they already have it set up, so you don't have to you don't have to create any packages. You may have to, but that that's. That's an, that depends on the company that you're working for. So this is this is something that I suggest you play around with. Um, I hit refresh. So you have your you have your options. You can redeploy. You can run a report. You can run the report of, of the deployment that you ran. You can run the report of packages. You can run a report. You could schedule. You could schedule something on it. So this is all the things you could do on it. And there's, there's view, there's all these other stuff. I'm gonna close out of this. Obviously, I don't I don't have the you can scan profile. I don't have the enterprise version of this, so it's not gonna let me do certain things on it, which is totally fine. All you care about is creating a report, looking at the report and learning that learning uh learning what resources they have installed, learning if they have Adobe, they have Windows updates, they have all this stuff. So this is basically tells you everything about that computer. And it's really, really important if you work in an IT environment, because then you can run a report for your manager or for your supervisor or for the tech lead. And then you give them a, a report of four, five, six, seven, eight pages. And you could do it in an Excel sheet with CSV, or you could just do it on a regular Word document. And then you can send it to them like, listen, this is, these, are, these are 200 computers. All these 200 computers are missing net framework that 4.8, 4.0, whatever. Like, and uh, we need to install this right now. Is it okay if I deploy it on all these computers? So this is this is like what what you would do if you do level two, or if you work in a management role, you would actually deploy inv uh, inventory reports of all the computers to make sure that they're all up to date. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I hope you find this uh, useful and helpful. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Take care. Peace. Later.